All right, so for those watching on the YouTube VOD, you might want to skip ahead a little bit because uh, the first few minutes is me just getting waiting for the stream viewers to come in and stuff, so... Yeah. Also, I'm streaming from my uh, roommate's bedroom because uh, my PC's dead, so there's that too. Oh god, I can hear myself. Yeah, you might want to mute. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be in the VOD too, hell yeah. Do you think I'd actually edit my own VOD? <laughs> Pog better lighting? Shut up, Brad. You're not wrong. Dude, have you know he pays more rent for this room, right? That whole fucking, what? Fucking 20 bucks extra. <laughs> for, for, for like a few extra feet of a room. <laughs> 20 whole doll hairs, that's what the lighting goes into, right? Oh shit, Dad, nice announcement. Alright. <laughs> and now we wait for everyone to hopefully come in and. Uh, who knows, they've all forgotten about me, it's been a while. <laughs> Two viewers, Paul. Hey Daniel. Hey Stealth Fan. Alright, so people are alive. Good to know. I'm not forgotten just yet. <laughs> it's been like six days since I've uploaded. Who knows? And then you go from shittest to best, as per normal. <laughs> Wait, can you guys hear me well? Alright. I assume you guys can hear me. Hello, Dud. Yeah, he's right there. Oh, there he is. Look at that weird haircut. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> the viewer... Oh, is that, a, is that a subscribe from Yeg? Oh my god. Yeg Spears Enervous. Scuff stream four months not worse. Dude, you're sponsoring this fucking scuff stream. You look like you're in a better setup now your computer broke. You know what? I hate you all. <laughs> <laughs> That's what true Aussie would look like, Cake W. Nah, my wallet's not big enough. Ah. <laughs> S -s -s Senpai, it's, where, where have you been? It's been so long. God fucking damn it. I don't feel comfortable reading a message from someone named Lick Me. Freaking <laughs> <laughs> the world ended, the laptop died. I'm upgrading my relic in Final Fantasy XIV. Thanks for the background noise. No problem, eh? Gonna <laughs> get bad if you talk shit about this setup. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, he's got a fucking entire monitor for fucking chat. Look at that shit. It's like a little mini monitor. Entire monitor for chat. That's fucking sick. You guys get your own monitor. Never miss a message from chat again. You'll still miss it. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> 38 viewers are a little bit more than we'll go. Oh, shit. In the last box review, there was like fucking 200 people in it, but then again, I got to announce that earlier and stuff too, and the box was a little bit more exciting than another box of what seems to be fairies. I don't, I don't, I don't understand like any of the archetypes in here, other than I saw there was a Sky Striker card, so I'm going to clickbait the shit out of that. Going to bed, goodnight, Harry. Lady Egg. Here's a small support for your new laptop. Thanks for the uh, thanks for the bits, buddy. I shouldn't have to get a new laptop, but it should fucking be repaired. But well, it was a bit of an expensive repair for something that probably should have been something I could do myself. But I didn't really want to touch it because I didn't want to fucking. I'll let a professional do it. Probably not worth it on the yourself. This was leaked yesterday. Well, yes. Yeah, there's 40 people and that's pretty good enough. Alright. <laughs> oh, fuck are these emotes. Alright. I'm gonna ignore you guys. Uh, Alright, so it starts here. Alright, let's go. What do we got in here? I see we've got fucking Evo tiles again, even though that seems to be the trashiest art type with no boss monster or anything, but alright. 
Target one face up reptile monster you control, destroy it and spit on someone Evo tile monster in face down defense. Why in face down defense position? Oh yes, this is card's gonna be a staple, absolutely meta wise. It's just such dog shit, man. Why would you ever use this? Destroy your own <laughs> monster to summon an Evo talk. Even a brush for use of mech. Let's get this shit out of here. Is that a hype train? Oh, I'm, not, I'm not gonna do this. <laughs> I'm trying to do a box review here, guys. All right? Come on. Oh, do I even have? Ch I don't have chat on the screen. I should probably put chat on the screen. No, oh, here it comes. <laughs> here comes this guy. Uh. Let's even get chat on the screen. Chat box. Add. Chat box? Please? Hey, we got chat on screen. There you go. Alright, now people that are watching the board actually understand what's going on. I yeah, appreciate the um, bits and stuff, guys. I'm not going to do too much with um, as much with chat and stuff as normal. But I appreciate all the support anyway. Because I want to try and get the review done, obviously. Anyway, because this is going on YouTube, so. Alright, Evo Miracle, a quick play spell. Okay, okay. Target one monster that was special summoned by the effect of an Evo Time monster. This turn, it cannot be destroyed battle or card effects. Well, Apparently, <laughs> why couldn't they just make this like unaffected by card effects? Why destroyed? It just makes it so bad, man. It's just so bad. New zombie deck looks interesting. Oh yeah, I noticed there's a bunch of zombies in here. I don't know. Is this like a fucking like six graveyard box in a row? Can we get something else that isn't graveyard? That'd be great. Yeah, this card's just bad. Not it's destruction. De <laughs> protecting effects are useless. No one cares about them. Actually useless. It was unaffected. Sure, it'd be great. This thing still gets hit by, you know, fiendish chain, fucking floodgate, canardia, all the normal stuff. That's absolutely nothing for the deck. No one cares about it. We'll just move on from that one. It's not even worth my time. So you all get to be on YouTube? Certainly do. If I saw this kind of shit to begin with, they seem like it. I haven't seen one card that's brought them to be like... At least a little bit, you know... Meta. Or playable. <laughs> I can't sub a gift. That's alright, dude. You guys can ignore the hype train. You can let it die. <laughs> we don't need to get that stuff going, it's alright. It's more of a scam and train anyway, let's be honest. Alright, Goki cage match. Honestly, I didn't know Goki was an art type, I thought Goki was just one card, so now I know. When this card is activated, place three counters on this card. If your Goki monster destroys an opponent's monster die battle, remove one counter from this card. Okay. Once per turn at the end of the battle phase, if this, if the last, what? If the last of these counters has been removed this way, you can spend or summon as many Goki monsters as possible with different names from your hand or deck. Then place three counters on this card. What? Alright, so this is probably going to be bad, because destroying stuff by battle is like a terrible effect. But it's a field spell. Interesting. So I don't. I still don't think it's gonna be very good. It seems super slow. It seems like really like it's a cool effect, but I still have to wait to go over the other Goki stuff. But normally destroying things by battle is like an effect it means it's just not playable. It's something like I don't know. Um, I don't think of an example of things that. Uh, what are those stealing cards called? Is it the synchro monster that destroys stuff? And when it destroys something by battle, it steals it. Like, those cards never get any play, because it revolves destroying something by battle, and destroying things by battle does absolutely nothing. Literally nothing. So yeah. Probably not a good good thing. I think it's not going to get any play. Yeah, who knows though, you might have like a really easy search or something for it. Because it, it is a field spell, and normally if it is a field spell, generally the art type is a search for it. You'd hope, otherwise it's probably not playable without. You know, field spell searching car, which we don't have in Jewel Links. Yeah, better than TCG. Oh yeah, Goyo, that's what I was talking about, Goyo. Oh! Bolt 
Escargot. God damn, what a fancy looking dude this guy is. After rendering an opponent immobile <laughs> by spitting a sticky goo, this monster closes in for the attack. Oh, spit on me. <laughs> spit on me, Bolt Escargot. Let's go. Level 5 water monster, 1400 attack. Oh my god, get get these fucking looter boats out of here, boys. <laughs> That's enough of this weird little snail guy. It's a. Uh, it's not. Did Lunas pronounce. S. Isn't that what I said? You know what? You're, you're a bit nitpicky, buddy. You're a bit nitpicky, right? I think you'd be more concerned about the fact that I just told this thing to spit on me, okay? Rather than how I pronounce this name. Alright. <laughs> Emperor of the Land and Sea. God damn. A reptilian monster that sprays fire. Oh, he's a rapper. In every direction. God damn. Got a fucking rapper in Jaw Links. This dude's spitting fire. Hell yeah. <laughs> dude. A sick card. Absolutely spitting flames. Is that, you know, like can notice something here. If you just look at this card, right? What the fuck's going on with his arm here? He's got like a fucking <laughs> huge fucking top of his arm, and then just oh, it's all got stuck there. This guy's doing something wrong at the gym, I think. He's skipping, he's skipping some day. I'm not sure which one. He's skipping something. <laughs> That's fucking weird too, because it's just like the elbow down. Oh yeah, it's just got the same blood clot right there. It's got some... <laughs> <laughs> you know those fucking, those old armbands that had the magnets in them? Oh yeah, it's yeah, yeah. It's just yep. fucking all out there. <laughs> 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 the blood flow. <laughs> That's clearly not his private armor. Yes, yes. <laughs> Alright, Dark Assailant. Where have I seen this guy before? I think I've ever seen this character somewhere. He must be like used in one of the Jewel Links artworks for some reason. Or something. Like one of the event arts or something. Because I've seen this character before. Armed with the Psycho Sword, this sinister assassin rules the bad land. This is some real weeb trash right here. Uh, thank you again, Jewel... Alright. So I can't pronounce his name. Juan Tina T thirty three for the T one sub. But they appreciate the support, buddy. Your continued support, appreciate, it, dude. Dude, I must have missed your last sub. I don't recognize the name that much. Juan Tina. Sorry if I'm butchering your name. Skull Seven Skull a Ninja. I guess so. Fucking ninja. <laughs> hello, Loom roommate. Smiley face. There you go, dude. You gotta, you gotta hello. Hello. What is going on in the background here, by the way? Why has my cards gone missing? What? Okay, you know what? <laughs> Where were you? There we go. Okay. Alright. Fire Reaper. A Reaper with a flaming arrow that bursts an enemy to a... That burns an enemy to a crisp. What? I don't, I don't know what this is about. We'll just ignore this one. Uh, thank you, Play-Doh, for the sub. Appreciate it. Six months. God damn. Thanks, buddy. And Doug Gregory for the sub. Appreciate it, dude. Appreciate the support today. Oh my god, another one? AK4128. Thank you for the Twitch Prime. Appreciate you using your choosing to use your Twitch Prime on this small time streamer that currently doesn't have a PC. <laughs> I try to remember these names. Appreciate it, dudes. Right, this, this card reminds me of um Someone from anime I watched recently, but we've always got that guy. Move on, move on. Alright. More shitty Evo tiles. I can see Evo tiles already going to be shit, I, still, considering all the cards seem to be in the normal category, as opposed to being like, is there an ultra Evo tile in this box? Do they even exist? Alright, Evo tile. We'll just call him Jeff. When this card is destroyed a battle and sent to the graveyard, in type 1 Evo tile monster in your graveyard. Okay, next. Alright, Evo saw. Dar Darwino? <laughs> okay. When this card is special summoned by the effect of an Evo Tile monster, you can target one face-up monster on the field. Increase that target's level by up to two. 
I mean, it's an Evo Saw. We are missing, like, specifically Evo Saws, because currently I think we have, like, two? So we're just, like, summoning nothing? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Because you have all these cars that aim to summon their, like, bigger counterparts, and we've only got two in the game, so... I mean, it is another dino. It's 2,200 attack. It's still goddamn useless, though, but... Yeah. Is your roommate in this chat? I don't, I don't know what roommate's doing. He's fucking... He's right there. He's, on Facebook. He's fucking <laughs> Facebooking. Just love for a ride. <laughs> Evo saw Peter. We always call him Peter too. When this card has been assigned by the effect of an Evo Time monster, it gains 500 defense, so 2,500. If this card was been assigned by the effect of an Evo Time monster, then it's a straight battle. You can add Evo monster from deck to hand. So that's not that bad. Your, your Evo Time monster dies. You summon this thing out. It's got a big fat defense. If they kill it, you search for something. You know. It's still dog shit because there's literally nothing for the archetype still, and destroying things by battle is literally a useless effect. It's like a shitty Sangin, but. Like, you might as well use Sangin over this thing. But hey, th there you go, you got, a, you got a dinosaur. For you guys that like dinosaurs. Oh, Fire Monster? Is that is that invocation I see? Purgatrio? Get him out of here. Evo of an SR monster. Oh, Pog. Alright, Evo saw Volcano. Not much like a volcano to me. When this card is special summoned by the effect of an Evo Time monster, you can target one Evo saw monster in your graveyard. Special summon that target, it cannot declare an attack. It cannot declare it. Why? It's like. It's already bad. Why do they even have to have like a downside to the effect? It's just bad can miss timing. It's just, it's just bad. <laughs> what, what did I miss? Uh, you missed timing, Mr. Stealth fan. <laughs> XYZ material, perhaps, I guess. It's just so bad. It's so bad, dude. Like, if we had a tuner or something, sure. I guess it, it is good for XYZs, which we don't have yet. So thanks for you for releasing more stuff for XYZ that we don't have yet. Alright, well. I mean, at least his tail's kind of fancy. I don't know why he's got a shiny tail, but sure. Alright, right. next. Shiranui Swordmaster. So I saw there were some Shiranui's in here, which is really odd, but alright. If this card is in your graveyard and you control two or more Shiranui monsters with different names, you must better summon this card, but banish it when it leaves the field. Uh, it's not a trainer. If this card is banished, you can target one zombie monster you control. It gains 600 attack till the end of the turn. You can only use each effect once per turn. Yeah, so we're not using this card, right? The fact that it requires two Shiranui monsters to summon him is a bit... Mm. Also, the fact that that's to be specifically Shiranui monsters and not zombie monsters means you can't summon, like... Kazuki or the little skull dude to try and send cards to the graveyard. It just doesn't doesn't work like that. You have to specifically have Shiranui monsters, so I don't know about that. To be fair, it is level 2, so maybe if you want to have like... Uh, another level 2 monster to make the level 8 easier to summon, the level 8 synchro. But yeah, we're not using this card, he's just not good. It's just not good. Yeah. He bad. Oh my god, now that's an artwork. God damn, that guy's got a veiny forehead. Look at that fucking jawline, though. Oof. What a man. Alright. You can discard another Maya Maya Kashi. Maya Kashi? Monster. Spit or summon this card from your hand. You can't use this fate, it's going to once per turn. You cannot spit or summon monsters that they exaject except my nasty monsters. Okay, is this a synchro art type? If this is a synchro art type, this could be good since it's like an instant summon. Instant summon to level 5, so maybe if you have an easy level 2 tuner or something, or you want to have Mayashi cards in the graveyard, this would be really easy for it. It's your your sister art type? Ooh. <laughs> Thanos looking at us. Okay, it's it might it might be playable. I don't know if this card's like gonna make the cut for the deck because I don't know what's in the deck yet. So 
But he's not a bad card, he's just a discard summon him. Then summon another chain or whatever, there you go. And if you want stuff in the graveyard, Pog. We have to wait to see what's in the rest of the box to see if you need this guy, or if you care about him. He's not a bad card by any means though. If the Mayashis are like, easier to summon. Alright. Uh, dude, do I... Tushingumo, the poisonous Mayashi. Um, level 5, so he's not even summonable by this. One chain, one one chapter monsters. You can only control one, uh, blah, blah blah. You can only use each effects poisonous once per turn. If a synchro monster in your possession whose original level is 7 is destroyed by battle or an opponent's card effect or this card is in the graveyard, you can banish one of the zombie type monsters from your graveyard and if you do, you summon this card. So I guess the aim is to summon this, then to summon another card, synchro them together, get this in the grave. So it's like kind of a ramping up one, is that the aim of it? So you have this in the grave, like ready? If this card is put on from the graveyard, you can have each place in the top three cards of the date to the graveyard. It's like a self mill. So I assume this is like a ramping up card, so that you get this in the grave. So then when your synchro dies, you summon this, use its second effect. Okay, I mean, I, this card probably isn't, doesn't see that, didn't seem that useful to me until I see, like, if it is used for ramping up. If it's no, like, way to use this as, like, a ramp up card, you probably just won't use it. Then again, you might use this in the same way the, like, lower level Shiranui level 6 is used. It's level 6. Because every Shiranui deck runs that, because you need it. So this might be the same for this. You might just, like, need this in the deck, because they really su easily summon a level 5 or something. Don't know. The, like, the effect's pretty weak, but then again, it's only level 5 synchro, so what do you expect? Might be used, might not be, but I have to see the rest of the cards. Alright. <laughs> okay. Oboro Gurama, the Wield Mahyashi. A level 3 synchro. Generic. I see generic. I use generic. You can only control one. Uh, blah blah blah. If a synchro monster in your possession whose original level is 5 is destroyed by battle or an opponent's card effect, or this card's in the graveyard, you can banish one of the zombie type monsters from your graveyard if you first summon this card. <laughs> Do they all have this effect? This is so weird. If this card's first summoned from the graveyard, you can activate this effect. This turn, your monsters cannot be destroyed by battle. <laughs> okay, so when this guy dies, you then summon this card, and then you just don't take damage the rest of the turn, similar to how. Um, Crystron likes to use that weird crystron card that can't be destroyed by something and has you take no battle damage the rest of the turn. Uh, you just kind of summon this card when all your synchro monsters die, I guess. What a weird card, though. Again, it's like a rampy card, though. You get this card, you get level 2 tuner, ramp up. This guy, level 2 tuner, ramp up again. Oh, this card's just like... When all hope fails by looks of things, like when all your monsters die, you just have this thing at the end that just sits there, looking pretty. It doesn't, do, it doesn't literally do anything other than just try to stop you, you like, taking damage, I guess. And I guess it has this card in, yeah. Yeah, I know it's not a Chris John card, I'd say it's like, it's the, I don't know what the card's called, the monster anyway. I've got its name. I just want to compare it to it's like the whole not being destroyed and it basically stops you taking damage. It's like a, like a last resort thing. It's not really like a card that's too exciting other than just being really annoying. That you go into the battle phase and kill your opponent's synchro monster, this thing comes out, you're like, oh great. End turn. Yeah, in in Inectron, whatever it's called. Insectron. Powered Insectron. That guy. Alright. Evolutionary Bridge. When a monster you control is targeted for an attack, target one Evo time monster in your graveyard, special summon that target, then switch the attack to that monster and conduct damage calculation. So, still useless. Dude, I really hope there's at least like one useful Evo tile card in here, or oh, I'm gonna be real depressed, because like, these all seem really bad. Like, actually, like, really bad. It's like a battle trap, it's so bad. Literally unplayable. Actually just, ugh. Hey, but Light Sworn Evo Tile, let's go. <laughs> Alright. 
Mayashi Metamorphosis. Discard one card and target one of your major monsters that is banished or in the graveyard. Special summon it. It's a bit slow. Your opponent cannot target it with card effects this turn. Okay. You cannot spend or summon monsters from the extra deck with the turn you activate this effect. Except, yeah, okay. So it just raises a synchro monster back that can't be targeted by card effects. I mean, maybe? If you're doing a lot of, like, ramping up, which seems like what the art type's doing, maybe it's useful because you just do this during your opponent's turn, get a synchro monster that can't be targeted by card effects. Uh, it does seem super slow, so it's probably not going to be used, but maybe. It procs their effects. True, it does proc their effects. Maybe? We'll, we'll, we'll see. It's it's uh, it's very hard to, like, justify trap cards still. Trap cards are really bad. Or, like, they're, like... Trap cards that do stuff that isn't just kind of disrupting your opponent are bad. Which, to be fair, this card might disrupt your opponent. I don't know what the other bigger synchros do. Like, I don't know if you summon a synchro back from the grave, it pops something. Maybe it'll be kind of useful then. Especially if it's easy to get that synchro out, then ramp it up into another synchro, and that's in the grave. Because, like, then it'll be useful, it'll be playable. But... Yeah. And it might just be too slow. Effect isn't bad though. It's like a... Just a res effect for this art type that sends a card to the grave, which is kind of useful. We've seen how useful that is in like Shiranui. And the fact it can't be targeted by card effects is like a nice little bonus too, so... Sure. Sure, 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 sure. I don't really played in TCG and Jewel Links seems to approach the same way. Not really. Jewel Links is not the same. Have, have you seen these like Blue Eyes, Shiranui? Um, what's that really annoying stall deck called? Like, the Invoked Stall deck that has like Kyroids and shit. This, trap cards are really popular, like Fiendish Chain. Trap cards are way more popular in Jewel Links. They're not, it's nothing like the TCG. Trap cards are like actually prominent. To the point where just generic trap cards are used more than just like generic spells. Like the only generic spell we use is like Cosmic Cyclone, whereas generic trap cards, they're everywhere. The entire thing is... <laughs> like, we only use like Cosmic Cyclone and Canard... Not Canardia. Cosmic Cyclone and Enemy Controller, the only two like generic spells we use. Whereas like, generic trap cards are fucking everywhere. There's floodgates and things in every deck, so... Oh! The, 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 the clickbait card, the Sky Striker has arrived. The reason I can have Sky Striker in my title, yes, perfect, just what I was looking for. Thank you Konami for giving me another Sky Striker card, just what I wanted. Actually, alright, so what does this one do? If you control no monsters in your main monster zone, target one face of monster on the field that targeted that target is unaffected by card effects this turn, except its own. And if you have three or more spells in your graveyard, it cannot be destroyed in battle this turn. If you control no monsters in your main monster zone, target a monster on the field that is targets unaffected by card effects this turn. Fucking what? Okay. Basically use it on your opponent's Alistair and they activate invocation so they can't summon invoke boys. Don't we already have a spell that makes things unaffected by card effects? Don't we already have one? Don't we already have a Lance card? What's it called? Forbidden Lance in that? Can that not be used in opponent stuff? Taiwan faces once in the field, this turn that target loses, Aeon Shop is unaffected by this one. Yeah. This, this card just this card is just a better this. It's a free to play lance, I guess. It's just clickbait for my YouTube video is all it is. <laughs> yeah, we're not gonna we're gonna use this with like a lolly card. We're, I think we this one's a hard. This is a we've already got a card that does it like fifteen times better. They could actually have a monster on the board. It would make a lol. 
<laughs> you have to. You can't even use like a secondary effect on your own monster because you can't have a monster on the board when you activate it. <laughs> what a fucking dumb god! So you're basically your opponent, you're basically making your opponent's monster unaffected by effects because you can't have monsters. Yourself. I mean, you can just use this, then summon your monster, right? It's not too hard. You just use this, then summon your monster. But yeah, but you're not going to use this, you just use Lance. You just use Lance. Yeah. We'll give that one a hard pass, I'm afraid. Alright. Evo Force. Tribute 1 Evo Time Monster. Special Summon 1 Evo Saw Monster from your deck. It is treated as if the monster was specialed by the effect of an Evo Time Monster. Uh, okay, so I guess we've got a spell that actually tributes those shitty Evos that like to be tributed now. Summons an Evo from the deck. It counts it as being summoned by an Evo time monster. I mean, I'm afraid like this card might be okay, but it doesn't matter because I still haven't seen a single decent Evo tile card, so I can't really justify saying, oh, look at this really sick card that you're summoning no monsters with, because we've got none, so. It's not bad, I guess. But. Yeah. <laughs> we just don't care about it. We need, like, an actual card for them, you know? Like, it's so hard to raid a card that tributes to spell summon an Evo Saw from the deck when I don't think we've got any decent Evo Saws yet, you know? You got one that destroys back row. It's like, eh. At least this counts as, like, tributing that one monster that draws a card there, you know? It, we, it is somewhat useful. Alright. Goki face turn. So we've got some bird dude in a ring. With a axe. I'm pretty sure this would, uh... <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is against the rules in a wrestling match, don't you think? I'm pretty sure you can't use this in a, in a wrestling match, but... Maybe I just haven't watched wrestling in a while. You keep triggering my Siri. <laughs> you keep triggering Siri. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Siri. I wonder why mine's not going off then. It should recognize my voice over, like, yeah, whatever. You like, we're five times in one minute. <laughs> <laughs> you can only watch ladders, chairs, tables, and rods. You can use a what? What? You can use a watch? Like a. I guess. Okay. You know what? Go. Cool. <laughs> you can if you want to. You can distract the ref. Ah, yes. Of course. Target one Goki card you control and one Goki monster in your graveyard. Destroy that card on the field, and if you do, special summon the other monster from the graveyard. Uh, okay. This card, I can't really rate till so I've seen the other cards, because this card seems like... The only card I know of is like that one Goki monster we already have, which sends something to the grave, you destroy it. I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know, I, I have to wait till I see the other Goki cards to see if this is useful. I can't rate it at all. I've seen like one other card so far, and was that even a monster? <laughs> Wherever it was. Where was he? Oh, it's literally seen cage match so far. So we literally haven't seen the monsters yet, so I can't judge this card yet. It's a wait. Wait until we get up to it. You make sure join the streams more often. Oh, I'm in, I'm in Dud's room, so he's kind of forced to this time. Alright, Bayonetta, ba it's like Bayonetta, okay, the Bane for Barrel, I mean this card would look pretty good in like a Bayonetta game, just saying. Once per turn, you can target one face-up monster your opponent controls, it loses 1000 attack for each monster your opponent controls. Like a weird OTK card, if you can summon this from the graveyard, you just make one of your opponent's monsters just zero attack all of a sudden. Okay, this might be a weird... I don't know what what this is particularly used in yet, but if you can, like, summon zombies from the grave, which is really easy to do, 
you just summon this thing back, similar to how currently we use um, the Lunar Light card. Where is it? This card? This card enables so many OTKs right now, like so many. So this card, you know, if you can summon this back, you might be able to just OTK your opponent instantly. If they have a bunch of monsters on the board, which is quite often, they just lose 3,000 attack, they die. Literally, this card actually might be might see play, it might. It just depends on, like, one, how easy it is to send to the grave, and, like, two, how easy you can enable, like, an OTK with, like, a zombie-type deck. I don't know. We'll see, we'll see. Doesn't seem like a bad card either way. But so I assume it's, like, some, like... I, I don't know. It doesn't seem like a bad card either way. Do the ultra? I have no idea, dude. I haven't gone over the ultra as yet. Mm -hmm. Enter the same meme decks built around by Enter. It's not even like a meme deck, just be like a straight out OTK deck. Kazuki Send, Book of the Life Revives, OTK. Oh, yeah. Send with the Kazuki, then kill them with your 1700 attack monster. There's your combo. Hit them with that 1,700 attack. <laughs> Hell yeah. Alright. Gazuki Iron... Oh, sorry. Not Gazuki. Guki Iron Claw. During the damage step, when your Guki monster battles an opponent's monster at quick effects, you can send this card from your hand to the graveyard, or to hand trap. At the end of this turn, your monster gains 500 attack and if it does, it is unaffected by your opponent's card effects. Shame is during the damage dip. I like this card to be like sick. I guess it like stops stuff being reduced, like if you have like a reduction effect on it or something. Yeah. Not all that it's not that good of an effect. It's like we don't have like I'm trying to think like Reduction effects or something? I, I don't even know. Just seems kind of bad. If this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can add a Gooky card from your deck to hand, except Gooky Iron Claw. Yeah. Doesn't seem all that useful. Very meh. It's like a level 2, it's not even like a tuner or something, so I think you just won't use this. It's unlikely. Very unlikely. Unlikely. So like a 500 attack hand trap is like, yeah. But I have one for like the thunder, like you can kind of compare this to like the thunder dragon hand trap that we've got, that's like a 500 attack buff, is that even a hand trap? I, I know you can just send it at some point, I don't know. It's, just, it's not gonna use it, 500 attack is fucking nothing. It's just nothing. I am just prefer to have a wall of D in my deck to be honest. Alright. Bear hug. If this card is put summoned by the effect of a Guki card, or normal summoned, you can target one face of monster your opponent controls, its attack becomes half its original attack until the end of this turn. Okay, that's not a bad effect, it's a pretty big boy. If this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you have a Guki card from your deck to hand, so if this card is somehow used as part of a synchro, that'd be sick. Like you summon this from the grave with the tuner, you get a synchro summon, you get a search, and you reduce some monster's attack by half. You know, that's pretty good. I don't know what the level of the synchros are yet, so I have to wait for that, but... Not terrible, not terrible. It's playable. Um, Obviously, still not the best effect. Still not something that's going to be like, holy shit, this deck is going to be meta or something, but, you know. They're not synchro based. Well then. Are there a link deck? Oh. Well, that's not going to be very good. <laughs> well, you're probably not going to use this card then. <laughs> Bear hug beat down. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be using this guy. I mean, it's, like, it's not a bad effect or anything, but it needs more stuff to make it actually useful. It's just kind of kind of lame otherwise. It needs more stuff to actually be better. Otherwise, it's kind of not playable. Why are they giving us link decks? Dude, next world links. They're gonna skip XCs straight to links. How meta? I didn't say it was better. I was, I was saying that this isn't better. 
Like, there's more stuff needed to make it better. Just, just kind of an okay card. And if it's not used for synchro summoning, then it's probably bad. In the anime, they were used by the same guy that used the Dino Wrestlers. Oh god, he can't be using two bad decks. It's not sh surely not. <laughs> I mean, then again, they might be bad with links. So, all right, Octo. Oh my god, this is a character. What the? What is this? What am I looking at? Dude, look at those fucking budgie smugglers, though. Is that an Australian slang term? Not be Australian. You guys say budgie smuggler, right? Or is that Australian slang? Either way. No, you don't? Oh, god damn it. <laughs> Just Google it. I can't be bothered. Alright. Got a fucking octopus on his head. <laughs> no nipples, too. He's got. I don't know if this guy's wearing, like, clothes or not. I can't even tell. I know. I don't even know. It's an Aussie term. We know it. Okay, okay. A bungee jumper is not a budgie smuggler. Okay, you know what? I don't even know if you mean. You got cappers next to it, so it's hard to tell. <laughs> He's a WWE champion. I was about to skip going to the next card. We just rated him based off of his outfit. All right, let's actually rate the card. All right, if your opponent's monster, uh, if your opponent's monster attacks during damage calculation, quick effects, you can discard this card. The damage you take from the battle is halved. Useless. When your opponent activates an effect that would inflict damage to you even during the damage step, you can discard this card, the damage is halved, useless. If this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can negate a card from your deck to hand, useless. So, all useless effects. Why are we on, we've already got like, you got a Karibo beats the first effect, the second effect is useless in dual links, we don't take effect damage from anything, like Lava Golem? Is that your effect damage? That's like all we've got. Uh, yeah, useless. Literally useless. If this was like, if sent from hand to the graveyard, it gives you a search, useful, but from, from board? Cat dance, oh, the, you negate the 100 damage? Holy shit, you're right. Damn, actually, you know what? I changed my mind, meta relevant. <laughs> you can negate the 100 damage. Wait, then I thought you were Australian? Well, yeah, that's why I was saying budgie smuggler. What do you, what do you mean? <laughs> that's why I was saying that. What do you mean? I was just assumed it was Australian slang. I don't know if you guys fucking used it. Negate the 100 damage, actual pog. Alright. Head bat. What the fuck are these outfits? Are they all just wrestlers? They're so... Oh, okay, sure. If this card is in your hand, you can send one of the Goku monster from your hand to the graveyard, then target one of your monster you control, special summon this card in defense position. And if you do, the targeted monster gains 800 attack until the end of this turn. Uh huh, uh huh. If this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can have an opportunity to take your hand. I mean, I feel like you have to use this, like a synchro archetype or something. Like, what else is the use of these cards? It's cool that they have this, like, search effect thing. I don't know. This guy is like a special summonable level 2. Bandra attack's pretty irrelevant though. But like, hey, if you get to use this guy in like some synchro version of thing, even though they're meant to be used for links, <laughs> maybe it's playable, you know? You can search for something. Yeah, we, otherwise we won't use this guy. I'm still looking for their boss monster to see if it's useful. This card itself, like its actual effect, if we just rate its effect in a vacuum, isn't a bad effect. It's a special summonable monster, you know. Now who's the one with the shits PC? <laughs> hey Fluffy, I got fucking Platinum 2 and TFT in like two days, alright? Shit, sit your silver ass down, buddy, alright? Were you roasting me in chat, huh? Sit your silver ass down. <laughs> two days without a PC, easiest Platinum 2 of my life. Then, quick question, do people in Australia talk like Kano from Mortal Kombat? Yes, they do. They don't act like Kano though, okay? 
<laughs> rather than silver with a PC than that without it. Okay, buddy, you need to, you need to chill, right? You need to settle down. Alright. So we've got a... Uh, discount ghost girl looking ass. Yuki Musume. The eyes, Mayakashi. If you could try a Mayakashi monster or card other than Yuki Mishime, the eyes, Mayakashi, all those cards in your hand or graveyard, you can spend some of this card, then send one zombie type monster from your deck to the graveyard. Okay. That's pretty good. Okay. Head fat. Oh my god. <laughs> you can use the fates uh, once per turn. You're not supposed to send monster in your deck. Okay, now this effect's pretty good. If you can control a major card, so this could be literally doesn't have to be a monster, it could be like a field spell or something. I assume it's not a monster though. It's coming in the hand or grave, you can just special summon it and then it just sends a zombie monster from deck to grave. Yeah, okay, okay, not a bad card, really useful. Really, really useful, really useful. You can just use this and like send monsters, you just use this simply for sending zombies to the grave. As well as being level 1. Just have a free level 1 special summon. So it's an ice barrier card, the same. Zero attack? Who gives a shit? You'd probably get a synchro this off anyway. You're literally using it to send a monster to the grave, that's it. Most of the time. And that's a really useful fate. It's like you've seen how useful Kazuki is and uh, Samurai Zombie Guy is, you know? Like you're probably going to use this card if you need something to send to the grave. Seems really good. This combat with the old DSR. Alright, we'll see, we'll see. We'll see when we get to it. Yeah, it's actually not a bad effect. Really good effect. Vampire Skull? Whatever his name's Vampire Skull? Yeah, that, that guy. <laughs> that fella. Yeah, so Poggers, Poggers, Poggers. Probably going to see play, I imagine. I had to wait to see the rest of the cards to see if it's like actually synergizes well enough, but... Just from like the looks of things, the effect, really good effect, just have to wait to see if it's actually useful. Alright, Shafu the Wield Mayashi, Mayakashi. This card's normal special summon, you tie one many in your graveyard, except wield special summon it in defense position, but negates effects. Okay, you've got a tuner in the grave, you summon this guy, there's level 5, or level 4, or who knows, whatever, whatever level you like, depending on how high the tuners go. You can use fades once per turn, you can also put some monsters next deck. So you could summon this guy, use this guy, send a chin into the grave. Oh, I guess that doesn't work. <laughs> you can't use it in that order. Never mind. Never mind, you can't use it in that order, I'm retarded. <laughs> that doesn't work like that. Alright, you've got one in the grave, there you go, you got this guy. Not a bad effect, just a really useful, just summon this guy, summon a synchro. There's not like a whole lot to say about it, that's just what this guy does. It's going to be used for synchro summoning, nothing else to use it for. So depending on what level the tuners are, what you're trying to summon, uh, this guy's an easy way to summon level 5, which I think we've already gone over. I assume it's going to be an easy way to summon this guy. But yeah. Doesn't sound... It sounds like a pretty useful card. Alright, next. Shiranui Sword Saga. So this is the level 5 Shiranui. Currently in a Shiranui deck, we have no way of summoning this guy. You can use... You can only special summon once per turn. If this card is special summon, you can tie one monster on the field. Change its banner position. If this card is banished, you can special summon one token. Alright, so this card isn't going to see play, right? It just doesn't... It just isn't going to see play. The lower level Shiranui's are currently used for specifically, like, ramping into the bigger one. You're just not going to use this card. Shiranui's are already, like, the deck's already, like, perfect. You can't really, like, you can't, <laughs> it's not going to be an upgrade. You gotta understand, any card they try to add to the game now that is a Shiranui card has to be good enough to fit into a currently tier 2 deck, you know? It has to be good enough to, like, slot into here and, like... To play this card, you'd have to run cards that could specifically make a level 5, because you just don't have any currently. It's just bad. It just seems bad. Unless there's like a Shiranui card coming up that makes this playable, you just wouldn't use this card. As it stands, you wouldn't use it. Yeah, so unless there's a card later on that's... Yeah, you just wouldn't, you just wouldn't see play. 
Why the fuck's there a Twister deck being shown, by the way? Is this the best deck you guys have got? <laughs> Fucking Twister. Oh. I might need that later on. Sword Sagas, I'm going to play a couple of other cards, however. Okay, okay, okay. You got me hyped now, boys. You got me hyped. Alright, Tengu the Winged Mayakashi. Uh, you can only control one ten So what level is this guy? Seven? Okay. If a synchro monster in your possession whose original level is nine is destroyed by battle, card effect is cut in the graveyard and banished one of the zone time monsters in your graveyard, you just better summon this card. Okay, okay. If this card's better summoned from your graveyard, destroy one spell trap pile your opponent controls. So again, probably going to be a ramping card. You're going to summon this guy, summon a tuner, ramp up to the bigger one. Then when this the bigger one dies, this guy comes back, pops a spell, or you can raise it using like that trap card we saw earlier. So I'm trying to rate their effects based on the fact that I assume they're going to be like ramp cards, because like this guy by himself is pretty fucking, it's pretty useless, right? You, you just summon this guy, it's going to do fucking nothing. But as like a guy that reses himself from the grave once your synchro monster dies, you know, maybe there's some play there, maybe. It might be okay. I think just it's super going to depend on how consistent the uh, Mayakashi deck is. So at the moment, I'm not sure like how consistent this deck actually is. Like, how are you going to summon this guy, ramp up into the bigger one in one turn? Is that something that's actually like a plausible effect, you know? We have to wait and see. We have to wait and see. Is it mini or main box? Mini, I think. Cyphone reflects around assault beans. Yeah, yeah, that summons level 9, dude, but how do you summon this guy as well? Like, you want to summon this guy, then go into level 9 at the same time. So, preferably, you summon this guy, then you summon the tuner back. Synchro summon higher. That's what I mean by ramping up. You use this guy as part of the synchro summon. Yeah, so you use the smaller synchros to make the bigger synchros. That's what I mean. Not how easy is it to summon to level 9, because it should be pretty easy, I imagine. It's just, how are we going to use this guy in particular to make them, basically? Unless you can just do two separate synchro summons, you know, that works too. But preferably you want this guy in the grave, right? You better summon all synchros with only level 1 and level 2 in your hand. Okay, okay, we'll see, we'll see. When you read Daku, it makes sense. Okay, okay. Still wait a bit. Alright, on to the SRs, boys. We're in the POG section now, so... Shiranui style sol solemnity? A continuous spell card. Okay. This card name becomes Shiranui style synthesis while on the spell and trap card zone. Once per turn, you activate one of these effects. Banish one zone time monster from your graveyard. The normal and. What? The normal and spiritual summons of your zone time monsters cannot be negated for the rest of this turn. Okay, so that's only relevant for like blue eyes matchup. I guess you can use it just to banish a zombie. Like, you can just use this to banish, um... What's his name? This guy. Wait, this guy. Spirit Master? You got Spirit Master in the grave, you can just use it to banish it. Free banish. You don't even have to use it for its effect, necessarily. Target one zombie monster, monster you control, banish it. Then you can send one zombie monster zero defense from your deck to the graveyard. Okay, so again, you can just kind of summon this guy, banish him... Send these dudes to the grave. You can activate it to banish this guy, to bring back a banished card. Plenty of things you can do with this. Is it going to be like... A staple for Shiranoi though? Would you run this card in particular? I don't think so, since its only real synergy seems to be with... Spirit Master. So if you don't have Spirit Master, this card is, just seems irrelevant. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be using this. I don't think. I don't think it's a win more card. It's kind of, it's, I don't think it's really a win more. Where's the Dots are chilling over there, leave me alone. It's not even necessarily slow. Like, 
Shirano is generally slow. Like, their turn one play is just summoning this guy. And the next turn they summon their big Senkos and whatever. But I don't think we're gonna... I'm pretty sure, like, because it only sees... It's only really relevant with this guy. Sometimes this, but kind of rarely. It's just probably not gonna see play. I don't think we're gonna use it. If I just continue as well, makes it a good guy. Why is that an oof? It means you can use it multiple times. Alright. Yeah. Solitaire can ban it. Can spare summon two banished zombies if since it's on the field. Yeah, that's why I said sometimes a synergy with it. But like, you have to have two banished zombie monsters too. It's like kind of eh. If this had to make both the effects, I guess it'd be more useful because then you just banish a zombie, then banish your guy. But it's kind of it. It's kind of like I don't think we're gonna use it. I think it's kind of just like, nah. I don't think we're gonna use it. It just it's just too reliant on having like spirit master. I think it's a pass. Because like I said earlier, these cards have to be good enough, these Shiranui cards have to be good enough to fit into the current tier 2 Shiranui deck. You know, it's already a tiered deck, so for your cards to fit in here, they have to be good enough for a tier 2 deck, otherwise they're just not playable. So, probably not going to see play. Alright, Ghost Meets Girl, a Shiranui story. And I've seen a bit of hype about this card, just a little bit of hype about it. If your opponent controls a monster, discard one zombie monster. Special summon a Shiranoi monster with a different name from your deck or graveyard. Also, you special summon monsters and monsters for the rest of this turn. Okay. If your opponent controls a monster, discard one zombie monster, special summon Shiranoi monster with a different name from your deck or graveyard. So this is a really weird card because it's kind of like it's completely useless on turn one, right? I guess it's not completely useless because like during your opponent's turn, you can summon the level two, the level two from your deck, the level two tuner. Like, this can easily set up a turn, like, turn 2 play, I guess. But it's like, it just doesn't do anything on turn 1. It's really weird. <laughs> Cute card. It's alright, it's alright. Hide the lol stuff, hold on top. Hey, don't look, at, don't look at dead stuff. That'd be League of Legends stuff, I'd imagine. Leave my bookmarks alone. <laughs> yeah, leave his bookmarks alone. Leave him alone. Hmm, I'm not, I'm not sure about this card. I, this, I think this card's gonna have to see, like, mad testing. I think we have to wait till, like, we've seen, um... Like, some of the DLM people just test the shit out of this deck, because I won't test it, I don't like Shiranui really that much anymore. I'm more worried about the Fallout 76 fall. Are you talking smack? My boy loves Fallout 76. He's gonna fucking trash over there. <laughs> He's gonna. <laughs> Perfect game. That was... No bugs whatsoever. That was fucking Brad, by the way. Have you know? Oh, he... Brad. He's fucking roasting. <laughs> Someone wants a fucking diss track. Oh! That's gonna get a feature now, have you know? Oh, <laughs> 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 <Their> shit. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I don't know about this card, we'll, we'll see. I, I think it's going to take a lot of testing, because like, like I said, it's going to have to fit into a tier 2 deck, and it's kind of like an only turn 2 card, so your turn 1 cards are just a really weak play. It's a really weak play. And Chirino is already like a completed deck, so I don't know if this card makes it in. It's not a bad card by any means, but it's probably it might not be good enough. Like, I'm not particularly hyped about this. Like, I don't see this card and see, like, holy shit, Shiranoi just got a tier 1 buff or anything. I feel like maybe it's just a different way of playing Shiranoi. It's like, that's it. Yeah, possibly see a player with not 100% choice. Yeah, people will try it out at least. And they'll probably get, like, king games using it, but it's probably just, like, a different way to play Shiranoi rather than, like, a buff for Shiranoi, I'd say. It's quick play. Yes, yeah, so you just use it during your opponent's turn to summon a level 2. It's kind of like, eh. But I think we'd have to see. This card is just going to take a lot of testing. I don't think it's necessarily like 
a game breaking card or anything. It's just gonna be a different way to play Shirin Away. Which to be fair, there's already multiple ways you can play Shirin Away. You can play it like heavily on um, trap card based and try to discard like your tuners, or you can have it so that it's like um, more spell card based. Although to be fair, the spell card based one's kind of dead now since you can can't really run Gold Sarco Sarcophagus and Squire anymore. But yeah, all right. Maizaki Winter. I like this card art. It's kind of sick. I really like this card art. It's really cool. Um, once you're printing controls, lose 100... Oh, it's a continuous. Lose 100 attack and defense for each month with a different name in your graveyard. Okay. Is that at all relevant? You do do a lot of self-milling, I guess. Uh, you can only use one of the flying tits once per turn. Send this card and one which once you control to the graveyard. Draw a card. Interesting. Okay. Mm, not sure about that one. Banish as I guess like it, it, that could be a useful effect. Banish this card and one zombie time monster from your graveyard, then target one and once in your graveyard to be able to summon it. Oh. oh I can use one of the attacks per turn. Oh, so you can't use both of them. Hmm. This kind of brings back the tuners and stuff. What an interesting card. Like, it already has some synergy with that level 1 we showed earlier. Will you? Yeah, this guy. It already has some synergy with it, because like, summon your normal guy, you summon the level 1, then you can use the first effect and just draw a card. It's also kind of useful, because like, if you do a synchro summon and you ramp up into another bigger synchro, then you can just use the secondary effect to bring back the one you used for the ramp, if you want it. Alright, seems kind of good, seems kind of good. I'm not sure, like, how good, though. It kind of depends on how good the rest of the cards are, because currently, as Mayakashi stands, I haven't seen any cards that stand out to me as, like, this art type's going to be sick or anything, you know? The card itself's alright, though. It's a good effect. And both effects are usable, so that's, that's, that's a plus. Two useful effects are a plus. Plus it's continuous, so you can use it multiple times, so... Yeah. <laughs> Kashi, more like a Maya shitty. Oh, got him. Oh, it's searchable? Okay. It's a shame that you can only use one of the following effects, so you can't use both of them in one turn. That'll make it really sick. But the artwork alone makes it an S tier card, you're right, you're right. That artwork is sick. I like it though, I like it, we'll see. Oh wait, this card's better in... Ghost Girl is better in my It's a fucking anime title right there. Ghost Meets Girl. Is it? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Dude, since artwork, look at this card, isn't it, isn't it cool? It's artwork, dude. Look at that shit. Okay. Into Wonderland. Fucking nuts. Fucking frozen right there. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> don't question. Let it go. Let it go. <laughs> I guess you could like a ghost meat skill fucking Marizaki deck, like combo them together. Do it, let it go, please. No. Yeah, you could, you could stick them. Um, because um, this guy is just usable with zombies in general, right? Yeah, you could use this card with it. It works. So you could just stuff the level 2 Shirinori into your Majaki Winter deck. Or your Majaki deck. Anyway, let's move on. Because this card is just like, it's a good card. Where is it? I'll, yeah, I don't know. We'll just wait to see if like the actual Synchro Monsters are good enough to make the deck playable. Because currently they've got like some good stuff, but yeah. Was it else for cosplay girl? Never. <laughs> <laughs> we need a remade emote. Dude, you make me a remade emote, I'll consider it. Alright, Mayashi Return. Take one Mojo card from your deck, except Mayashi Return, and either add it to your hand or send it to the graveyard. 
Oh, yes. Pog. Oh, that's so good. Dude, it's a search for, like, graveyard or for hand from deck. Like, it's, it's amazing. It's sick. That's just, like, okay, the best card in the archetype. Why is it not... I, it, <laughs> it's just the best card in the deck. Actually, just the best card. Just came low. <laughs> to be fair, we don't know... Like, the, the, so far, the Maijaki cards or, that we've seen, they, they don't seem all that strong, like the Synchros. But this card... Mint. I'm waiting for level 9. If level 9's Pog, this deck so could be Pog. But this is actually sick. This is nuts. Really good. Nuts. Like, <laughs> it's, there's no downside. There's literally no downside. It's a search. Doesn't make you discard. Doesn't make you... Like, this kind of be good if it was just adding to hand, but it can also sense the graveyard? Like, okay. <laughs> if your opponent opens this card, you're just pissed off. It's a better Dark Lord search. Imagine if the Dark Lord search card could send to Graveyard as well. Imagine. Fucking okay, nice. Card is sick. Absolutely insane. Ah, Beast of the Pharaoh. What the fuck am I looking at? The brain has issues with that card. <laughs> Dude, when did you when did you go in for the Konami photo shoot, Dad? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Actually, fuck. <laughs> Holy shit! There's no words for that. <laughs> come on, someone had to draw this artwork, you know, Dad, right? Someone metal, put time and effort it's into like this. Like fucking Metal Man meets fucking Ruler Beast. I don't know what the fuck it is. It's like, it... Do you watch um, fucking uh, No Gun Life? The I haven't seen gold... it yet. You haven't seen that yet? No. Oh, I thought you had. But there's a dude in there. It's like a golden robot dude. And his face looks like that. <laughs> the anime with a guy with a gun for a head. Hell yeah. I don't know what this is. <laughs> yeah, I don't know that one. Anyway, let's actually read the monster's effect, right? Stop judging the card by his looks, okay? He might be good. If this card into the graveyard for a synchro summon, you can target one level four lower summon time once in your graveyard to or summon. You know what? That's not bad. That's alright. Uh. It's okay. You know? He brings something back. You can go into like a. Uh... If you synchro summon using this guy, you can bring back the tuner you synchro summoned with. So this card's really good for ramping, which is what this deck aims to do. Yeah, just synchro target. It's not like it's it's not better summon something like this. You have to like hard normal summon it, then summon something to synchro with. Hey, you can use it with the uh, the wielder duo. I don't know why you'd want to, but you can. Can this card target itself? Can this card res itself? It can? Ooh. I think I think it would. I'm pretty sure it would. Because, like, it's not like you have to specifically target something when using its effect. So I'm pretty sure... It's not like um, Lumina Light Swan or anything. Yeah, yeah. That makes it, like, infinitely better. That's pretty good. Not infinitely better, but it's, like, kind of, like... It's it's always going to be, like, a free sunnable card, you know? There are TCG loops with this card. Dude, I'm sure the Julius card loops with this. There'll be someone that... Some <laughs> channel on YouTube that would just fucking... Get banging 100k views off just doing dumb loops with this in some meme deck. Why not? Infinite loops are fun. <laughs> so yeah, this card, good card. Yeah, does it have a place in Dueling? I'm not sure, but good card either way. You know. And like, you can play it with the Tracker Joy, you can summon this card, Psychic Tracker, Special Summon into something, bring the beast back, along with your Synchro. Hell yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you'd want to. It's probably going to be used in some zombie deck, though, or to try and use it in a zombie deck, to bring back the tuner after you Synchro Summon. Like, if you summon this guy, get out a level 2 tuner, summon your level 5, you can bring back the tuner, 
there to level 7, you know, and so forth. Playmaker may live, but I don't think Playmaker does that kind of stuff. It's, yeah, it's more like an RY video, not Playmaker. Alright, Lord Gaia the Fierce Knight. Can we get some playable Gaia cards? Please be a playable Gaia card. Because I like Gaia, he just doesn't really have a place in anything. <laughs> if your opponent controls a monster in your control, no monster needs to be able to summon this card from your hand. Once per turn, if a monster with attack higher than this card is better summoned to your opponent's side of the field, you can make this card gain some... <laughs> this card is actually good, is it? <laughs> Is it? It's not even a 3k Cyber Dragon, because like, you have to use it after your opponent's already summoned a monster. So your opponent might already have their 3k beat stick out, then you summon this card and your opponent's like, oh, I'll just kill it, because I've already got my monster out. Like, if your opponent already has a monster out, this card's dead. If it's turn one, this card's dead. <laughs> you know? It's just bad. It's just strictly bad. Guy is supposed to be shooting drill links, apparently. I mean, doesn't this guy work with the, um, hand trap, though? I don't know, the hand trap. Yeah, there you go. Envoy of Chaos. So there you go, you can use him with Envoy of Chaos. There you go, you can make him a really big boy. You can buff him with your Envoy of Chaos Hand Trap. If you go first, you just fucking doom though, but other than that... <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that one. I think we're probably going to have to give this one a pass. Yeah, I don't know about that one. This card search for it. Yeah, you can also use a gateway to search for it. So there's like the support around it. You can build a deck around it if you like. It's fucking bad there. Like if you want a free 3k beta, just play a malefic monster and have a field spell. I don't think you really need this. All right, next. <laughs> Watch this card become like tier one meta after I've shot on it. Holy shit, crab people, boys. Crab people. Crabs are people. Crabs are people. <laughs> <laughs> we got any crab emotes in chat? I don't even know what the crab emote is. So I'll put the crab rave emote in chat if anyone's got it. Give me some crabs. Alright. Goki Risk Scorpio. Oh, is it a scorpion? Oh shit, it's not even a crab. Dude, he's a scorpion. I've been baited already. <laughs> I'm fucking retarded. Alright. <laughs> If you control no monsters, or all monsters you control are Goki monsters, you can all summon this card without tributing. If this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can add one Goki monster in your deck to your hand. Uh, so, still useless. So, we've gotten to the end of the Goki cards, and it seems like they're like a uh, Blink Arc type or an Xyz Arc type, and are pretty useless. <laughs> Thank you for the, uh, the, uh, the crab mate, buddy. The one cuck on the bus. Thank you for the... <laughs> nice name. <laughs> True light That's a scorpion, you illiterate fuck. <laughs> have you done a review on the Dark Side Yugi skills yet? I have not gone over them. Some look kind of crazy. They seem pretty bad, to be honest. I did have a look at them, did try to use them. They seem pretty bad. They're still doing my Yugi cards? Okay, okay. Maybe the other cards redeem it, because currently they seem pretty bad. <laughs> scorpion <laughs> must be crap. Shut up. <laughs> Talking smirk. Alright. Medusa thing, I don't know what this is. Twist Cobra. Damn, got some thighs though. <laughs> Thick. Thick. <laughs> Multiple C's on that one. Another crab sick. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Fluffy. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Another crab. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> For fuck's sake. 
You contribute one Goofy Force to the target one uh, monster you control. It gains attack equal to the original attack of the tribute monster until the end of the turn. If this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can add one Goofy card from your deck to your hand. Alright. So you can get two Gookies out, which seems quite doable. Then you can buff one of your boys. You can just tribute this guy, buff your other guy. Still not seeing anything too super useful in this stuff. These are these cards seem pretty bad still. Like, if this is a hand trap, it might be slightly more useful, but you have to like summon this guy, summon another guy, so the other guy can be like protected. And you can just swing at this monster first. I mean at least he's a search. This the state, change my mind. I don't know. I haven't seen anything too exciting in this box so far. Nothing too exciting. Alright, Daki the Graceful Mayakashi. You can only control one to your maximum. Okay. When a main monster is better summoned to your field from the extra deck while this card is in your graveyard, you can spare summon this card. You cannot spare summon monsters from the extra deck to maintain this effect. Tuna. So this card is sick. This card is what I was talking about, ramping. You get this guy out, level 4, you synchro summon. The synchro comes out, this guy comes back again. You synchro summon again, comes back again. Synchro summon again. I assume that's how that works. Alright? Yeah, it's not a once per turn. So this card is like literally instantly ramp all the way up to your biggest one. This card instantly makes the deck playable. Really good. Like, actually playable. I assume this, this art type might be like... It might not be tiered, but like it's easily gonna be rogue, right? It's really nuts. I haven't seen like the, a big. I assume the ultra rare is what's gonna make this deck sick, because so far like all the other ones are kind of like eh. You actually need only one or two. There's another card that's the same thing, because that would also be sick. Yeah, if you can get if you can literally just get out a synchro monster with this, then you just you're just set for the duel. Yeah, you can search her too, you got the, the you can search her as well. You can also send her to the grave if you want to send her to the grave, and special summon her that way. You don't want her in hand? I mean, it depends on the special summon to level 4, on easy way. Chain disappearance that I mean, if you like. If you're running chain disappearance, I guess. Imagine Synchro imagine a monster while every single one copy, uh, every single one only can use their effect to spin a from the grave. I mean, the, the fact is they keep coming back from the grave though, right? That's the point, you're, you're summoning them, then l using this card to ramp them up to the next one so they go to the grave, I don't know what you mean. Like this card, it just puts them in the grave, that's the point. Yeah. You want to summon them all, because then they all go to the grave. Because you're going to summon them all using this card, so then you keep synchro summoning them, so they all go to the grave. That's, that's what I mean. Alright. Next. So this card, obviously amazing. Like, the, so far, actually, there's, there's like some really good cards in this Mayashi, like, archetype. There's, the synchros don't seem all that good, but the actual cards so far seem amazing. So the R-Type itself has enough support, it just depends on whether or not the boss monsters are good now. So yeah. Alright. Oh, at least there was Seahorse, isn't he cute? Oh, Seahorse with, like, skulls and... Okay. <laughs> I don't know about that one. If it's normal summoned, set monster would be used as synchro material. One monster in your hand can be used as the other material. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> if you do this, all materials for that summon are banished instead of being sent to the graveyard, just for some monsters except zombie type monsters. Do you have Discord open? Absolutely really important. You must see it right now. I mean, if you want the stream to see it, you have to send it to Dud. If you want me to see it, you can send it to me over DM, so I'm checking it on my phone. 
I mean, I can just show it on my phone too, to the camera. Yeah, it's not you specifically want like in the stream to say. Oh my god. Oh, what? How dare you? How dare you? <laughs> what have you done, Brad? What have you Big done? Boy. Did you make this? Who made this? I don't know if the camera can see it. <laughs> yeah. Got like a, a berries right there. Yeah, it matches up. It's a, they're basically identical. <laughs> Make it an emote. That's scuffed. <laughs> oh. Why would you do that, Brad? What have you done this? You spent effort cutting out his fucking head to stick. Oh my god. god. <laughs> That's a lot of lols in the chat. If I'm in love with boys. So you're trying to do a serious box review here. Serious box review. <laughs> <laughs> you do a serious box review. Uh, yes. Yes. <laughs> Alright, so b back to the uh, the weird seahorse. You said he went to the photo shoot. I found the photo. <laughs> That's him without the mask on, I guess. Takes the mask. <laughs> um, it's normal someone said Bond still be seen. Oh, yes, this card uses synchros from hand. And this card's pretty good. I'm not sure if this is going to be used in the uh, the Miyazaki deck since it seems to be bad for this deck in particular. Since you kind of want like, if you look at this card, you want them to like keep ramping, and this card will banish it, so it's useless. But like Shiro and Nui could use this, right? These tuners just need zombies, right? And it banishes them. So if you use this guy and then use um, Spirit Master in hand, that's a free banish, or a free draw discard, or a free bring something back from your banish card pile. Use the Thunder Dragons? Uh, no, actually you can only special summon zombie monsters, so that seems kind of bad. I mean, it seems like really good for Shiranui. You could play this. It's like another, it's like, again, a different way to play Shiranui if you want to. I'd say it's even like a good way to play Shiranui, because it gives like, it turns Shiranui from being like a turn one, a turn two deck. Cause like currently Shiranui is like turn one plays, just summon like Squire Saga and then hide behind like a bunch of back row. This deck's like a really bad like example. It's like a proper one. Yeah, something like this. It's like hide behind a bunch of back row and you wait for your next turn. And this card kind of makes it so that you can actually do something on your first turn. Uh, I just tuned in. Box, a resume in three merds. A resume? Um, I, I don't know. Three words? I don't fucking know. Uh, <laughs> box summed up the uh, load of. Might be garbage. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. This guy might be going to share it, no. That's about it, though. A load of crabs. A load of crabs. A load of crabs. <laughs> there's currently, there seems to be like there's only one playable archetype in here, which kind of makes me sad, because I hate it when there's like. I can only make like one video from the box and the rest of the videos I know are just gonna be like me streaming decks and just losing on repeat, which I fucking hate doing. I don't I don't mind doing it, but it's when I have to do it like five streams in a row because there's literally no other content, it's really annoying. Which is like maybe it's a good thing I can't stream the Yugi decks, because the Yugi skills are all pretty bad. It's just like I just could play like a normal Dark Magician deck with the I don't know. No, the uh, Yugi skills are for a different, different day, I think. Different, different chat, because they're a little bit <sighs> very disappointing. Oh, she's is the Winged Dragon of Ra. What's going on here? All right, Gizmet Yatta, the Claiming Vanguard. You can special summon this card from your hand by tributing one normal summon monster. Okay, 
You can use the effects once per turn. During your main phase, if this card was normal special summoned this turn, you can immediately, after this card resolves, normal summon one monster. <laughs> what? Okay, if you do, you cannot special summon monster the rest of the turn, except monster the same original type as that monster. So you summon this guy, you can summon a, like, a tuner or something? Okay. If this card... If, if this card is put on by its own effect... Distributed gain 2,050 life points. Okay. 2,050 life points, huh? This card really likes it's 2050. That's an illegal number. Glides level 6 with Sage. I mean, I guess. You normal summon a monster. Special summon this card. Normal summon afterwards. It's the same card summon. It's a cool effect. Like, it's probably it's probably playable. This could card would be pretty playable in Blue Eyes. Like, if you happen to have two tuners, or even just like... If you have two of your tuners, right? You summon one of your tuners. Um, summon this guy, tribute the tuner, summon a blue eyes, then activate its effects to summon Dalla Tuna, that's a synchro summon for you. It's over level 6 though, but still. I could summon another blue eyes if it's not a blue eyes tuner. Uh, thank you, Xgel, for the uh, two months. Appreciate the support, bud, the continued support. It's a cool card, but I wouldn't dig into the box for it, yeah. That's my thoughts on it, I think. Doubt work is also pretty cool, but it reminds me so much of Ra. Brown Ape Blue Eyes, yeah, that's what I'm saying it is. It's like a card you can use, it's just like, I'm not sure what decks you want to use it in particular. Obviously Synchros is the main aim for it, right? And obviously just wants his light to be sent to the graveyard attributed. Like, you'd even use this... Uh, not really. I was gonna say you could use this in, like, one of these zombie decks, but the zombies, like, seem to need, like, zombie-specific cards. Also, they you can only summon light monsters and these are all dark, so... That also doesn't help. There's probably a few decks that can use this. It has to be specifically light decks. This might be just a blue eyes card only. You can just stop this in blue eyes. It'd just be a blue eyes card, I imagine. Certainly not even a bad Blue Eyes card. But then again, like, there's so many different ways to play Blue Eyes that do you really need another one? Honestly, like, <laughs> there's so many options to play Blue Eyes right now, you know? Have you seen, like, the Blue Eyes lists? Is it currently tiered? I don't even know if they're tiered anymore. There you are. Let's have a look at some of these Blue Eyes decks. Like... They all vary so much. Some of them like to run this heavy back row stuff. Some of them like to just go more straight out tuners with even Malefic if you want to stick Malefics in there. People like to run your normal Cosmo Brain kind of stuff. You can run it all around Levineer. It's like so many ways to play Blue Eyes right now. You can run it with like Cards of Consonance. It's like, I can mean sure. This might be kind of cool. Oh, it's the same type, not a tribute. Oh, so it's only machine? Oh, not a tribute, you're right. It's not even a blue eyes deck. It's only machines. Huh. <laughs> okay, what deck uses it then? Crystron, is that it? Oh, no, same type as the monster you summon, not the same type as you use. Oh, okay, okay, okay. God, I'm retarded. <laughs> I'm ret oh, sorry, same type as the monster you summon, so it can be used in blue eyes. Right, sure, sure, sure. Okay. Yeah, yeah same, same type as the monster you tribute, it's fine, it's fine. But yeah, that means you can also use it in other decks that aren't blue eyes, though. So you don't have to necessarily use it as that. You can use it in fucking zombies. This card could be used with zombie decks, because it still lets you summon zombies afterwards. Not sure about this card though. It's a, it's a good it's a good card by all means, but I'm not really not sure like its um its uses of like when we're going to use it in and what we need it in. So you could use it in 
used in a lot of things. Could use it in this deck if you like. Like, do these need like specific? They're all generics. So they can literally use this card too. A lot of them might say things like, can they summon zombie monsters or something? I'm not even sure. Anyway, we spent enough time with this card. This card's sick, so we'll move on. Can we just see this guy? I guess he's a different... I'm mine. Goki Sup Suprex? When this card is normal summon, you can spare assign one Goki monster from your hand. Okay, that's pretty good. If this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can add one Goki card from your deck to your hand. And the art type's dead. <laughs> Is this, is this the best I got? I think we're about... Okay. You summon this card, and to go with it, you summon fucking your bear hug. Your half an attack of something. That's... Is that the best you got? I mean... It, it, okay, I guess you can kind of play it, you know? <laughs> more crabs? Yes, yes, more crabs, more crabs. Loads of crabs. Send it to me? What'd you send to me? Some reason another shit meme? Probably. Why? What's the purpose of that? <laughs> sticking me. <laughs> it's like sticking our faces on cards now. You're a beautiful maiden, come on. <laughs> there you go, chat. Because I'm sure you guys really wanted this card art ruined, didn't you? It's a really adorable card art, and you stick my fucking face on it. There you go. Beard and everything. Beard and everything. Absolutely amazing. Ne next cosplay? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. We're getting really off track here, right? <laughs> Either. <laughs> I, don't have, I don't know what happened this stream. Alright. So, Gooky. So this is the final card for the Gookies, and uh, is it usable? Yes, it's a good card, but all the rest of the Gookies seem kind of average, so... Eh. It gets an eh for me. <laughs> a very big eh. Probably not going to be meta, or playable, really. I might be able to make a video on them, they seem like the most boring art type I've ever seen in my life, but I'll probably give them a chance, I guess. Do you have a boss monster? Oh yes, they have the bear hug. <laughs> that's the one. Hey, that's the old. This has the old for the box. Holy shit! This guy might actually be used. I, I didn't even know this. This guy's probably gonna get used in a lot of things. Honestly, he seems like it's just a really good generic card that can just be stuffed into a bunch of shit. Synchro decks might just have a field day with it. There's gonna be some broken combos with this card, I'd imagine. If you have two, just normal summon more monsters. Yeah. I think Blue Eyes will have a field day with it at least. Alright, final card of the box. So this is a level what, 9? Level 9, okay. So this is the card I've been waiting for. This is the this is the, this is the final boss you summon. This, this is what you finish on after you've done all your plays. You finish on this card. Another fairy. Fairy, Ari looking card. Don't say that, Gender Bend Ari. Gender Bend Ari? Hang on. I don't know if you want to search that up. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we'll, 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 we'll Google Gender Bendari as much as I wanted to. I feel like it's probably probably TOS unfriendly. <laughs> <Maybe. laughs> Alright. You can only control when you get blah, blah blah. If a synchro monster in your possession whose original level is destroyed a battle or an opponent's card effect. While this card is in your graveyard, you can banish one other zone time monster in your graveyard, and if you do, spare summon this card. Wait. His original level... Oh, he's 11. Okay, so you don't have the level 11. So this card, uh, first effect, <laughs> star reader support, I guess. I fucking guess. I mean, you could end on star reader, but I mean, I don't know why you'd want to. You could end on Star Eater with this card, right? Okay, I don't have a... What level 11 synchros have we got? Is it literally only Star Eater? Is that the only level 11 we have? Oh no, you can't. Oh yeah, because it's only... Wait. Can you not? 
Oh, I guess if this guy roadlocks you into zombie, right? Oh, yeah. Never mind. You can't even end on Star Eater. Pepe hands. Only Star Eater. Can't even end on him. Alright. So, what's the actual effect? If this card is spirit summoned from the graveyard, you destroy a monster. Wait, so you end on this guy, then it does nothing? You wait for it to die, then it does some more res. You res it, then it pops stuff? No. So after everything you do, you just summon a 2,900 attack monster that doesn't actually do anything. Patch on your bait. <laughs> Ballista Squad, I guess. Ballista Squad this monster, then res it back with something, I guess. It's almost as if this box is a major disappointment. It seems that way. Wait, what cards do we actually have to res this chat? What have we got? Someone point out the cards that are good for resing this. Was there any cards in this box that were good for resing it? Book of Life. Deep Grave. This is who shit. Oh, what about that, that fucking mammoth card? Didn't that res from the grave? Yeah. That mammoth. The, 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 the mammoth. Was that only for zombie type? I was level 4 oh, or lower. Okay. Pepe hands. Yeah. They've really got Book of Life, is that like... And that was the trap card. I'd have to use three of this. <laughs> I just want to summon monsters, man. <laughs> I just want to... I don't know. Winter? Okay, this guy works too. I don't know which card this is, but I'm not rem I don't remember the fate too well. Type one face of the monster on the field, spin assign one monster from your canned or graveyard with the same original type as that monster with a different original name. I mean, this card's really good for it, honestly. Like, this card's really good for it, right? Because you just summon fucking... You summon this guy, when so they eventually kill it. You summon this guy, then you can just use body force on it. Yeah, this card's really good for it. Still seems like it's so much work for what it does. I don't think it seems like that much work though. It seems really easy to do. Like you literally just have fucking this card and then any level four out on the board and you've instantly got this guy. <laughs> right? Is it level four you have to have? Because this guy's level six, right? Right, do we even have a level six fucking one of these? Okay, that's a level five. Oh, yeah, you just summon that guy. Yeah. You can even have, like, a level what? You can get this guy out somehow. A level one. This guy at any level one, and you just go all the way up. <laughs> oh, didn't we have a level one? Is it down here? Yeah, we have a level one. So this card, and this card, and you can go all the way up. That's pretty sick. And you have searches for them too. That's actually really cool. I'm really excited to play the deck. You just fill up the deck with a bunch of synchros. That's so weird. The graveyard. The main, my main issue with it though is that it seems like uh, it's super graveyard dependent to the point where cards that banish just kind of stop you. I'm not really sure. Like, do we have any specifically banishing me mechanics in Jewel Links? What banishing cards do we have? Like Metaphus. Also, like Necro Valley Fox, it too, yeah, but yeah. Yeah, we're not out to Cosmic. It's hard to target your monsters to banish them, I mean. 
No, banishing your... Your opponent, but I guess invocation, yeah. Invocation using your graveyard, that's kind of AIDS, actually. That's very AIDS. <laughs> Invocation's gonna use your graveyard to summon fucking Purgatorio, how cringe. Ah, oh, I'm not looking forward to that. All your earths, ugh. Oh, yikes. Absolutely right, yikes. To be fair, um, I'm, 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 if... Other than, like, the Purgatrio matchup or the Invoked matchup, the date doesn't seem that bad. Like, actually doesn't seem that bad. Like, the monsters may be kind of weak, but the fact that there's so much support for them, and the fact that this card can, like... You can raise the shit out of this. Like, actually raise the shit out of it. And if they manage to kill... All of your Synchro Monsters, by the way. Like, if they kill this one, they kill the next one, they go all the way down. At very worst, they end up on fucking... This thing, and you don't destroy a battle anyway. <laughs> like, at very worst, you just end on this guy. You're like, oh, alright. <laughs> like, it seems really hard to kill one of these players once they get it out. Yeah, there's another one zombie change, this dude here. The fucking this guy. He's specifically made for it. And we've got a search for this card too. We've got fucking this dude. No, no, this card. No. This one. <laughs> Here's the search for it. We got there in the end. Not a tuna? Wait, is this card a tuna? This isn't a tuner, right? Yeah, it's not a tuner. Glot Bloom level 1? True! You can send Glot Bloom. Is Glot Bloom a zombie? Hey, what's Glot Bloom? Is that actually a zombie? Is this my, is this my dream ticket, boys? No, it's a plant. Oh no, this one's a zombie. If this card sends the graveyard, banish this card from your graveyard. Add a North Alpha monster to your deck to your hand. If zombie words on the field, you should summon it from the deck instead. Uh huh. Hmm. All right. New spell lowers the attacks. True. Alright, so if you finished your full combo, how many synchro monsters are you gonna get? So let's say you start off from this one. How many do you end up on? One, two. Is it three? Is it four? So four. Plus the two monsters. So there's six. So you get a 600 attack debuff if you have this on the field. 600 attack debuff. At like minimum with full combo. That makes this card a lot stronger. It kind of like demands they cosmic it then. 600 attack debuff is kind of nuts. Solitaire can search the tuner. Can it? Can we just solitaire this guy out? Like, if we run three times Solitaire, three times of this, three times of the one drop, and three times of the search spell, that seems super consistent. It's actually nuts. You know what? This deck's actually looking really free to play too. Outside of this card here, the rest of the deck's super free. Oh, I guess you have to get this card too. And these cards, it's, it's a mini box, these are gonna be one of, so I guess it's not that free to play actually. The good thing is you only need one of this card, I guess. Right, I'm tempted. I'll, I'll, I'll definitely make a video on this, because I think this deck's actually going to be pretty, uh, pretty alright. Like, it's super consistent. Super consistent. You, it's just like, it's weak to particular things, but strong against other things. Like, this deck into, like, any destruction deck, you just, you just probably just beat. 
But any deck that has like banishing effects or like invocation or something, you just lose to. But yeah, it seems really good into like everything else. You just want to play them because they're fairies? Oh, of course. You, you know me, bud. You know me. Alright, I'm, I'm, I'm excited for them. I'm excited. I'd like to play them. Alright, so let's do a full summary of the box. So in summary, what have we got in here? We've got one archetype that seems really playable, could even have like potential be meta. Not sure, it's really weak to specific things, but it's probably playable. Might be meta, might just be rogue. It does seem pretty fun though, should be pretty strong. Uh, Gookies. Uh, <laughs> wait, the other main art type, it seems really bad. Like, really bad. I don't see like this deck being playable at all. It's got a lot of special summons, a lot of random crap going on. So like, I don't know, dude. You just kind of summon a bunch of shit to the board. There's no summoning with it. It's kind of like the same with the, um... The cyber stuff we got, it's similar kind of thing. You just summon a bunch of stuff that doesn't really do anything. I don't know. It's got like halving attack effects and yeah, I don't. I don't think it gives me any good. Gookie seems really bad, like really bad. Uh, this card seems like a nuts generic synchro. It's good for like most synchro decks. I'm not sure like which ones are gonna make use of it. If you got like decks that are able to do two normal summons in one turn for some reason. You could just stuff this in there and off you go. Seems really good. Uh, it's probably going to be a blue eyes card, most likely, since that sends two blue eyes, like the tuners to the grave to summon the blue eyes and stuff. It might just be another way to play blue eyes. Um, was there any other cards in here? A Bayonetta, the weird OTK card. Oh yeah, Evo Saws. Evo Saws are garbage. We still haven't got a boss for them. Literally no boss. The cards are useless. The highest attack monster you've got is like 2400. Literally unplayable. Unplayable garbage. No monster removal. Useless. We had like some extra Shirenui support, which seems kind of average. This card might be another way to play Shirenui. I don't think it's necessarily going to be a the best way to play Shirenui. I think this card's good, but I don't think it's like gonna change where Shirinui sits in meta, nor is it gonna be necessarily played. It's gonna be like another way to play Shirinui if you want to. And I think that was it. Oh yeah, Sky, Sky Striker boys. Sky Striker and Jewel Links. Uh, click bait, click bait. <laughs> yeah. Fucking spit on me, daddy. <laughs> yes, that... <laughs> what is Gagut? What? <laughs> Alright, boys. Any final remarks, chat? That's it, boys. Any final remarks you want me to say? Any remarks you want for the video? On specifically for, uh. I think, I think I'm just about done here. Scorpions are not crabs. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. I'll break the box. What, out of 10? Yeah, out of 10? Uh, I don't know. It seems like a really... Okay, in terms of like how good the box is, I mean, it's one archetype that's good, so I'll give it like a fucking 3 out of 10. Purely because I can't make videos out of it. <laughs> I can make one video and then just have a bunch of losing streams, I guess. There's probably some dumb shit I can make in this box, I guess, but I'm going to ignore Evosaur because it's useless. I might play Gooky, probably not. And there's like one meme card in here, one like OTK card you can probably build a deck out of. Potentially. How many crabs out of 10? How many crabs? Hmm. How many crabs out of 10? <laughs> I don't, I, don't think, I don't think out of 10 is a good enough like system, you need like, out of something else, it can't be out of 10. Like, cra crabs out of something, you know, like, I don't know. I don't know, someone just posted a bunch of crabs in the chat, I was just like, <laughs> yeah, crabs out of 10. It's like crabs out of the sea or something, you know. <laughs> crabs out of scorpions. <laughs> right, we, got, we, got, we, got, we got five crabs out of scorpions. For every, every gooky monster in the box. I don't know how many there were. That's how many crabs it is. Alright, boys. We're done here. I need to stop stealing Dud's PC. 
<laughs> After we, but, <laughs> <laughs> ah yes, priorities, priorities. Oh, I'm just gonna turn the computer off. All right, we had to download the fucking stream, which could take another fifteen hours, and that could. <laughs> that's gonna that's gonna lag your anime. <laughs> all right, thanks for all tuned in, boys. Thanks for and all the subs and support and stuff. There are a lot of subs this stream, so appreciate all the subs. Make sure you hit the follow button, which is like there. When I stream next. Fuck knows, because it depends on when I get my fucking computer alive. So, next video, whenever, whenever I come back, yeah. Alright, boys, thanks for tuning in. I've got another image, did I? <sighs> another fucking goddamn meme. <laughs> Stop fucking sending me dumb memes in my face. Fuck, Discord is not liking the image. Hello, Discord? Me and your mo. <laughs> what? That's that's not even worth the meme, dude. Maybe if you had him spitting on me, it'd be worth the meme, but it's not even worth it, right? If it was the guy spitting on me, it'd be worth it, right? All right, boys. Thanks for tuning in. I'm out of here. Follow button down below. The vod, the full vod of this will be on YouTube a bit later once I downloaded it and all that stuff. So wait for that. Alright boys, nice tuned in. Hopefully there'll be more uploads and stuff soon. My laptop will be alive. So, ciao.